Okay, this is for Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius the next seven days? So, let's say from today to the 19th. I don't usually normally use these little oracle cards, but I'm going to use them today. So, let's see what they say. Just little love oracle cards. I've had them for a while. I just don't use them. But something told me to use them today. So we're going to do it. Okay. Is there two of them? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. So first of all, we have ascending. So a lot of you guys could be um, transcending obstacles, learning, expanding, new phase, preparing for union. Okay. So a lot of you guys could be fixing to go into union. So if you're apart from somebody, could be going back towards them. Um, or could be new, about to meet somebody new. This also talks about ascension, though. A lot of you guys are going through like a spiritual awakening. Then we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So you guys could be going through some type of heartbreak here. Could also be dealing with people who have addictions. The snake. Oh, no wonder they told me to use this. Enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Wow. So, if you, some of you guys who were in a third party or somebody could have had you in a third party, just be aware that there's somebody here who, who could also this chick. I mean, it could be a dude, too. Like, um, somebody's hurt, okay? And so, like, there's somebody after you guys. It's just like this snake energy. Somebody could be very envious of you guys, especially if you were in a third party or something like that. Like the other woman is pissed. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship love bombing. Wow. Be careful. Be very careful. A lot of you guys could be dealing with a narcissist. Not today. <laughs> Not dealing. Hurt. Avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person still angry. Okay, some of you guys are still pissed at this narcissist. Hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Integration. Repetitive. Persistent. Working on it. Hmm. There could be somebody from the past who wants to come back and rebuild things, but they're kind of warning you about this person. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Finances are going to be good. The chaser. Codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. Somebody's chasing you. <laughs> like, be careful that you guys also aren't being chased because you are abundant, by the way. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting of old wounds, introspection. So you guys are mirroring each other. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So things that are in the dark could be coming to the light. Wow, the dragonfly and the butterfly. Relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child growth. You know... This butterfly, to me, is Scorpio energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. Soulmate. Soul connection. Partnership. Agreement. Soul contract. I like you. Someone likes you. A romance is blooming. Fun. Flirting. Wants to date. And for some reason, I heard this is a work crush. Some of you guys have a work crush, and they are a soulmate. Holy crap, look at this. So be careful. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's very jealous and envious of you. Like heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Like this is a damn knife and you're being stabbed in the back. So be very careful. The fact that the knife came out with the snake is a little worrisome. Uh, and I, like I said, I don't normally ever use these cards. Let's see what's next. Camera, perception, learn from the past, make memories. You know, I don't think this camera has anything to do with what's actually on it. This could be talking about somebody who's watching you. Um, or if you're like in a third party, the other person could have like got in their phone and found messages. So now you have like this psychotic person after you. So be very careful if you're in a third party is what I'm getting with this. 
Many options, decision, unconventional, one night stand, string along. So some of you guys could be dealing with a married person and it was just supposed to be like a one night stand. Their spouse found out or something and now this person's like psycho. So there's like a warning in here. And then it talked about a narcissist. So just be careful. Like I said, I don't normally use these. So just make sure, you know, watch your back. That there's no psychos after you. Okay. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? I already did most of the shuffling before I started the video. So I'm sure you guys will be glad to hear that. Okay, let's see. What's at the bottom? Oh, two of cups reversed. <laughs> I don't really like to do reversals, but so we have the two of cups reverse. So it may, just means that you could be like apart from somebody right now. Like you may not be with your soulmate right now. And then we have the five of cups. So somebody here is in like regret, despair over a soulmate here. There could have been a third party. There's definitely some type of chaos, drama, conflict. So this would line up with what these cards were saying. There's just be careful if you were in a third party or something like that, or, um, you know, it may not even been a third party. It could just be, you got with somebody and somebody else wanted them. Now they hate your guts. I don't know. There's just something here about jealousy, envy, strife. We have the hair font in reverse. So somebody could have been in a marriage and left a marriage or, because look what's after it, the death. So somebody may be ending a marriage because of a third party. Like, let's say you were in a marriage with somebody and you cheated on them. Your spouse found out and now they're like ready to just off everybody. Like who was involved. It's just there's some type of warning. This is like a warning read. Oh, look what's next. Five of swords. This is envy, jealousy, deceit. Like winning at all costs. Like, there's, some of you guys just need to be careful, is all I'm going to say. There is something here, and somebody feels rejected. If you guys rejected somebody and went with somebody else, your person that you left feels rejected, betrayed, backstabbed. Now they're very envious and jealous. Like, it's, there's a snake energy, okay? Somebody's pissed. And I feel like this person would go to any means to stab you in the back. It's just, it's very strange. Because look at this. It's like the fool card is next. You guys are off just minding your business, going about your day. And you didn't realize this person was so pissed. Because look at this. Look what's next. This is very, like... This is very strange to me. We have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is normally a pretty big bitch on her own. She, does, she hasn't put up a bullshit, but she's very jaded. And then look, we have the Seven of Swords. So, whoever this Queen of Swords, and I find it strange that that card mentioned a female. A hater. Okay? There's like a female who hates you. And so then we have the Lovers, but it's in reverse. So there was some type of deception around a love situation, and now there's no love there. Whoever this person is, they're pissed. And then we have the damn Libra Virgo energy. So somebody's like being quiet about how jaded they are and how pissed they are. So if any if any of you guys know a Libra, uh, Gemini, Libra Virgo Gemini, there's somebody who's jaded, and this is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys were with somebody, but you rejected them and went with another person. And so now this person's like pissed and they want to get back at you. And if these are males, so say if you're a female and you were dealing with a male, you left that male for another male. This person may not um, want to handle you on their own because they're a male. So they're going to send a female to do it. Be very careful of the person you rejected and loves family or friends. 
they could be trying to get at you. Like, they may use other females to get to you. This is for some of you. Because, I mean, this is just a weird, strange ass reading. Like I said, I don't use these, and I was told to. And now I understand why. And then here's the what's at the top. So we have truth, clarity. This is good. This means that you're going to be getting clarity on who these people are. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, look. See, I told you. There was somebody that you guys were committed to or supposed to commit to. And this person, you guys got separated. And now they're so envious and jealous over you, it's not even funny. This person's very manipulative, too, by the way, with the magician energy. But the good thing is, and see, I feel like a lot of you guys, you have no idea this is even happening. You guys are just working, minding your damn business. A lot of you guys are very spiritual, so you could be doing your manifestations, talking to spirit here, spirits lighting your head up. But what's good about this is even though you're working and you're doing your spiritual work or whatever it is you got going on, um, spirit's lighting your head up. They're giving you um, the clarity that you need to realize, hey, you need to pay attention to what the hell is going on around you because there's some shady shit going on here. We have Cancerian energy, so they're telling you, like, move away from all the drama. King of Wands. It could be this King of Wands, Gemini Libra. I don't know why I said, see, I almost said Gemini Libra Aquarius. And I don't normally do that either. So that's who you could be dealing with. But they come up as the King of Wands. Probably they could have been very passionate. Yeah, see, there's somebody here from your past who's having anxiety, stress, worry. They're still thinking about you. This person's still trying to watch you too, by the way. They're trying to keep an eye on you. This person's very, very passionate. There's a lot of passion here. See, I told you, this person's trying to keep an eye on you. I Okay, I just heard one of my guides said they made a fake account. Those of you who are online and do post things on social media, keep everything locked down, I would... I would suggest to not even post anything for a couple months to leave these people in the dark because they are watching you. They even made a fake account to do this. And see, it's funny. I said Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Here they are. This person's like trying to gather information on you. They're trying to see who you're talking to, who you're passionate with, who you rejected them for. See, and this is their damn family. I knew it. I knew it. Those of you who left somebody and rejected them or you got out of a marriage, they are having their damn family spy on you. So they're using family members. And I feel like it's a female. It's a sister. There's some type of a sister energy or a female energy. Could even be a mom, aunt, sister. Somebody is watching you guys. This king of swords is having this person watch you. Oh, and the King of Wands is who you left them for. The King of Wands, the person you left them for. So they're trying to investigate it. And look what they're investigating. Who the hell is your new lover? So this person, these people, they want to know who your new love is. Not only so they can ruin your life, they're going to try to ruin this person's life too. Yeah, you might have been married to this person. If not, whoever this crazy person is, and I hate to call them crazy, but the shit that they're thinking in their head right now is crazy. This person's seen marriage with you. Like, they already had it in their head that you guys were going to get married and be together forever and run off into the sunset. So when they got rejected, it threw them for a loop and they, they can't handle it. Because whoever this person is, they're very egotistical. They they're, they also, I feel like, could be very good looking. And they're the type, like, oh, that they don't get turned down. So this person's very jaded. Yeah, and this person's trying to figure out who you are juggling them for. Like, who you left them for. Who, 
who allowed their heart to get broken? Like, who the hell did Sagittarius break my heart for? So they're investigating. You probably blocked this person off your social media. They had a family member add you or something or the family is still on there and you didn't think about it. I don't care if you was married to somebody 30 damn years and you think that this person's family is your friends. They're not. If you have mutual friends, get them off your social media. And that and normally I wouldn't be so dramatic, but the fact that it talks about being stabbed in the back, a physical attack, these people aren't playing. Yeah, I mean, this person is in despair that you left them, that you walked away. They're very heartbroken over you. And you're every it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but it's going to be exposed. These people will be exposed because you guys are protected by spirit here. So, like, whatever they try, they're going to be exposed. Could be dealing with a Leo or a Aquarius here. See, here comes this person. Somebody that walked away from you that was heartbroken. It's like they see something or it's, they're just pissed. This person's pissed. And I feel like the reason they're pissed too, you guys I feel like could get a lot of attention. So you guys could have like this star power. You guys could be like very naturally happy people, which is natural with Sagittarius. You guys are just out healing, getting attention, living your best life. And somebody's not, somebody's not happy with you at all. They, all. they also envy and hate you for the fact that you also do get attention. Yeah, look, this person's pissed. At Sagittarius. This person's coming for you. Like they're not happy at all. This person's very upset. That you are giving to others. This person's a psychopath. Like you. And you know what? This might be somebody you didn't even actually have a real relationship with. You might have just talked to this person online for a month or two. And kind of got to know them. And then you went with a different option. You're like, hey, this wasn't nothing serious. Well, to this person, it was the end-all, be-all. They, they can't even handle it. And they're very jealous and envious. And they want to return. Like, this person's coming back for Sagittarius. And I feel like there's some type of an online stalking going on here with this person. And this person also was in a, at a crossroads, and I feel like this is also you. You were at a crossroads, and you made the judgment to go with another person. This person's like, I don't think so. And it's, you know, this is crazy. This goes all the way back to months ago. For those of you who have watched me for a long time, well, it can't be that long. I've only been on here for like a year. But for those of you who have watched me for several months, if you go back to my other Sagittarius reading, it, I think the header says, if I can't have you, no one can. This goes back to that psychopath. It's that type of energy. And I was shocked at all. If you read the comments under that video, there was so many people on there that have been attacked. So this is another, this, and one lady, she even said, I wish I would have heard this reading before because my past person attacked my new person, shot him. And there was an actual shooting. So this is horrible. This, you guys really need to protect yourself. And this ain't for everybody. This is for some specific Sagittariuses. But if this can save one person, then it, it did its justice. And I'm not trying to be dramatic here. I could care less about the views. I don't care about none of that crap. There's something shady as hell going on with this person. And then here it is. Third party. There was a, I'm telling you, there was a third party. You guys left this person for a third party and they can't get over it. Has this person done fell in love with you? Like this person really did love you, whoever they are. We have the Knight of Wands. This person's coming back, whoever they are. Whoever this upset, jealous person is, they love you so much they cannot let go of you. They're going to return. And they're going to offer you a commitment. You know, this person could have even been like a player, not really wanting commitment. And that's why you left them and went with somebody else. And now it's like they want to come back and commit. 
But I just keep getting this overall sense of like, I can't have you. Nobody can. This person feels like they have to win at all costs to have you. And even if they have to lie and tell you they want a commitment, they will. And you have like your ancestor spirit guide telling you, listen to your intuition. See, this person has not released you. They're holding on to you for dear life. This person also, you know what's scary about this person? They fantasize about you with the Seven of Cups. Like they're holding on to you like you're a possession with the Four of Pentacles. This person's very secretive too. They're being very secretive with what they're planning and what they're thinking. And they're fantasizing about you. I can see it. I can feel it. So they've done, and it, like I said, this person's so delusional that they already had it in their head that you guys were going to be married and live together and be together for their whole life. And so when their little illusion broke, it's it sent them into like a crazy, yeah, and this person's hiding. The emperor hides things. And like I said, the emperor is also very um, egotistical and narcissist, can be very narcissist. My way or the highway. Yeah, and they, they're so pissed. This person's so upset that you left them out in the cold. And they feel like you're leaving them. They also have a victimhood mentality. I'm seeing because it's like not only did you leave them out in the cold. They feel like this is you. You're fine. You're walking on about your life. And they're over here on crutches. And so they also feel like you owe them something. I don't know if they were like in a bad spot financially when you left them, but they feel like, how dare you? You not only left me, you left me in a really bad state. So somehow they thought you owed them something. And it's just like they're watching you. They're watching you get away. They're watching you close out the cycle and move away from them. And it's just driving them crazy. I told you the emperor hides things. This person's hiding what they're planning, what they're thinking. See, they are very upset. Whoever this is, they're not as financially well off as you. They view you as the Nine of Pentacles. You have everything you need. You're good looking. You're well off. You're surrounded by your abundance. And then here they are out in the cold. They are going to come back. So this person, what they're planning, they're going to attempt to come back one last time. Or this could be their second time. Like I said, I just feel like this is somebody. They're going to try to come back and offer you love. And if that doesn't work, if so, if they come back, which they are, they're going to offer you love. And it's like they're saying to themselves, if that doesn't work, then it's this. If Sagittarius doesn't want my cup of love, I'm going to feel stabbed in the back. And they may even try to stab you in the back. Because it's very strange. These damn cards. Where is that card? You have the snake. And then you have... See, they're telling you to do this too, by the way, not today. Do not interact with anybody. Do not answer a phone call, a message, nothing from somebody from your past who you know is pissed at you or who you suspect is pissed at you. Don't do it. Just like I said, this person, you're more well off than them. This person wants to rebuild with you. They're going to chase you. They're very codependent. They have to have somebody at all times. I'm trying to find this card. See, you picked your soulmate, by the way. You left this crazy person and went with a soulmate. And they're pissed about it. The camera, I feel like, is their family and people getting screenshots of you guys off social media or something or if you're out with your person and you all live in the same town you see this shit i'm not playing about this 
heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking, shocking attack. This is being stabbed in the back, stabbed in the back. This person's planning to come back. Offer you their cup of love, and if that doesn't work, they could even try to attack you. That's how sick this person is. So do not entertain anybody. And this isn't, like I said, this is not for every Sagittarius watching. This is for those of you who are in a third party, and you've already gotten an inclination that something's not right with the person you left. And... <laughs> This person, if they're thinking of attacking you, which it looks like, I mean, these cards are painting a picture here, you will survive it, but you're going to have to heal from it. Eight of Swords, this is not good energy. This is just not good energy. Whoever this person is, they're all off in their thoughts. They think about you. This person, this is a sick, sick, sick individual, what I'm seeing here, what my spirit guides are showing me. Whoever the hell this sick person is, they lay and contemplate on ways to attack you. Like, what would be the best way to screw your life over? Like, they think about it from night to day, night to day. You, this person's obsessed with you, and they're thinking about you just all day. They can't get over you. And they lay in bed at night. They're Even when they're trying to sleep, they're still laying in bed at night trying to figure out ways to stab you in the back. And you know what? It may not even be, for some of you guys, it's not the actual person. It's the person's ex. Something like that. Queen of Wands. There you are. So you're very attractive. You're good looking. People are naturally attracted. See, look, I told you. You guys are naturally attractive. You guys just bring attention to you. This person hates that. This person hates that you get attention. This person's like very sexually, sexually drawn to you. This person wants a brand new beginning with you. But if they can't have it, they're going to go ape shit. So your best bet is to just not respond to any messages. Maybe pull yourself out of the limelight. Go off social media for a while if you have to. Don't draw any attention to yourself. And like I said, this is only for those that this is resonating with. This isn't for every Sagittarius watching. They're telling you, the Sagittarius, to guard yourself, protect yourself. Even if you have to, like, you should tell family. I think you should tell your family what's going on if this is resonating so they understand what you're going through. Like, bring attention. This is getting attention. Bring attention to your family and tell them what's going on just in case. Yeah, see this person also, one of their other plots and plans, um, if they could get you to come back to them, these two cards together represent a pregnancy. If this person could, you know, get in your presence, they will seduce you and try to get you pregnant or get pregnant by you if you're a male. Third party energy. Wish fulfillment. See, you guys don't even see any of this. Like, you guys are kind of blinded to it. So, thank God, like, you guys are going to watch this video and kind of see what's going on here. But you guys are just, like, focused on your wish fulfillment. You're not really even thinking about this person. But this person constantly thinks of you. Some of you guys could have even worked with this person. Here you guys, here you guys are looking to your future. And wanting to move to calmer waters. You guys are just wanting to move away from all this. And this is good. This is really good. So Spirit is telling you, move on. Get the hell away from these people. Look to your future and the wheel is going to turn in your favor. So they're telling you to just move on from this energy. Yeah, lay the burden down of this person. Avoid them. Ignore them. Do whatever you have to do. Block them. Block every one of their social media accounts, their families, their friends, and hold back from them. So Spirit is telling you how to get away with avoiding this person. It's to go ghost. You, you're going to need to act like you're not even around. That way you can energetically 
pull your energy away from this person and it's like hold back, don't communicate. Do not say a word to this person. Block them. Let's see, this person's still energetically obsessed with your love. They're still tied to you. And then here they come. They're going to try everything they can to get to you. They're going to try to communicate to you. They're missing your love and your attention. So this, this person who's in this energy is going to try to communicate to you. So you're going to have to be very strong and hold back. Also pray to God and your ancestors for protection because this is an ancestor protecting you from the devil. So call upon them. This is contacting ancestors, these two cards. Start sending out um, prayers to your ancestors and to God to ask for protection. Queen of Pentacles. See, there's there's two females involved. I feel like a wife and then a mistress. That's why something went wrong here. Yeah, because whoever this devil person is, they're looking back at their past. And this is for some of the males watching. If you're watching and you're a male and you left a spouse for a mistress or a third party, your ex is the one planning to, I mean, this person's gone batshit crazy. They're planning an attack. That's really scary. <sighs> yeah. It's like somebody's waiting for an offer here, too. It's like this person's waiting for you to return or to come back and commit to him, to them. See, look, there was a marriage here. That's why I got a huge third party energy. Here's this person trying to communicate to you. They're like still in love with you. Like they, they want to communicate to you so they can get in your presence. This is somebody who they're in each other's presence. So that's their plan to get you in person. So don't do it. Like do not do it. Because look, five of cups, this person's in despair. They're wanting to fight. They want drama, chaos, fights. This is like getting jumped by the way. And they're, they're pissed that there's no more marriage. There's no more commitment. So they're planning. What's this card say? I'm not even going to say what they're planning, but what's that card say? This is defeat. This is taking people out. Because they were rejected. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to end it before my video cuts off. If you want a reading, just email me. Thank you so much.